So let's get started with our introduction to JavaScript. And so I want to start up by creating a folder. And I will create a new folder called hello. Let's open that. Okay, so there are many ways to use JavaScript. The, we can use JavaScript on the front end. We can use JavaScript on the back end. We'll be focused mostly on the back end using Node, but I wanted to show you what all we can do. These are things that you'll be doing over and over as the course progresses. Let's create a file. Let's call this file index.html. Let's add some boilerplate HTML. So I'm going to use the exclamation point. And when I press tab, then I get a boilerplate HTML. I'll quickly change this to have a header, a title. Let's add a header one. And let's add a paragraph. All right, let's save this and let's open this in our web browser. I will open this with Google Chrome. Okay, so this is what we have. Nothing surprising here. Let's add some functionality so that I can demonstrate the use of JavaScript. I will come here after my title and I will add a JavaScript script. So I'll use a script tag. And I will simply use the alert function. All the alert function requires is a string. Let's save this and let's refresh our browser. Okay, so notice that we have this alert, hello Belize. And when we say okay, the rest of the HTML page will load. Okay, so this is one use of uh, JavaScript where we can actually write uh, JavaScript inside our HTML. Again, or let me point this out. We will not be doing this. Whenever we write JavaScript, we'll be writing it in a file and simply linking that file to our HTML, similar to what we do when we write CSS. Let's do that right now. So I will take this script out. Now simply place it as the last thing before the body closes. I'll go ahead and create a new file. Let's call this file hello.js. So this is our JavaScript file and I'll simply place the alert inside. With that saved, I'll come back to my index.html and I'll simply say the source of our JavaScript file is hello.js. Now, when I save this and I reload my page, we should see that it still works. Let's change this so that it doesn't have any exclamation mark so that we can see that it's a new message. Refresh the page. And notice we see hello Belize without the exclamation point. So this is what we want. We want for us to write JavaScript inside its own file and to simply link that to the HTML. Okay, so 
I want to go back to our HTML page here in our browser and I want us to look at the inspect functionality. So I will right click and I will go to inspect and this will allow me to see the elements of the page. So for example, uh, if I want to know what is the head or the body, that will be highlighted for me on the left hand side. Okay. And so if you notice, uh, this allows me to see the makeup of the page per element. But what I'm concerned about is the console. So the console allows me to write JavaScript inside the browser and to test my JavaScript code. So for example, I could simply do the alert again. Likewise, I could do computations and that would work. And one thing you'll notice we'll do a lot is to use the console.log functionality. So console is an object, of course, and it has a method called log. And we simply provide a string. Let's provide Belize. Okay, and we get back the output. So the console allows us to write and, te write and test uh, snippets of JavaScript code. And for those of you who have used other languages, you will notice that the console is referred to as a REPL. Okay, read, evaluate, print, loop. All right, so that's another way of writing JavaScript inside the console. And we already looked at writing JavaScript inside a file, okay? As well as writing our JavaScript inside the HTML using a script tag, which we said we want to avoid. So there's another way to write JavaScript, and that is by using Node, which is what we'll be using quite a lot in this course because we'll be writing backend web applications. Well, keep in mind, we'll still be writing front-end code for the user interface. So how does Node work? Well, we simply come here and let's find out which version of Node we're using. And so it tells me that Node is located in this location. Okay, if I say Node, that's just version, we should see that we have version 20. So what I want to do when I want to use Node interactively, again, Node is a REPL. So all I need to do is type Node and I will have this prompt that I could experiment with. Okay, I could do calculations. Okay, and I could take that minus one, which I will use as underscore. So underscore means the previous value. And I will add to that one, it gives me zero. Okay. Okay, so if I take zero, which is represented by underscore, Remember, the last value computed is an underscore. And I add 11, then I, of course I get 11. Clear my screen, control L. And I could do other things. What happens if I try to do an alert? Okay, of course, that doesn't work uh, because I want to be using it inside the browser, not inside the uh, node runtime. Okay, so alert is something that happens on the front end on the browser. So here it would not work. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, we can write our JavaScript code inside a file again and simply run it using node. So let's get out of node, control D, and let's create a new file. I'll call this file 
uh, belize.js and this will simply contain a message And so whenever we want to run a file, a JavaScript file from Node, then we simply say Node and the name of the file. Okay. So we'll be using Node, this command, quite a lot to execute our files. Now there's also another way, still another way to write JavaScript. And that is by using a script. So to do that, I'll create a new file. I'm gonna call this file hello. But notice I will not give this file an extension. It's just hello. And so I will simply specify that this will be a script. Okay, and a script is simply an executable file that can be run by your operating system. Similar to how when I type node, uh, we execute the node executable. I can also create my own script. Similar to um, when you're using Linux and you create a bash or shell script or a Python script, the same thing. So to do that, I'm gonna start off by putting the directive at the top. So I will simply say uh, pong with a bang, and then I need to know what I want to use to execute the script. And so for that, I will simply say which node. Then I will copy this value that is returned and put that here. Okay. So the operating system will know that it should execute the script using node, not using bash or Python or any other scripting language. And so I'll do a simple console. Okay, and then let's save that. And of course, if you know anything about scripting, we know that we need to actually make the script executable. So if you notice when I do ls l, you'll see that the hello file does not have the execution bit turned on. That's easy enough to do. Let's just use chmod. Okay, and then I'll put a plus and an X, meaning append or add the execution bit and the name of the file, hello. So if I run the command again, you'll notice that hello has the X turned on, which means that this file is now an executable. And to prove that, I will simply say dot for a slash and hello, and our code will execute printing hi Belize. okay so these are uh, before i do that let me create a git uh, repository okay let's do git add and let's do a commit Okay, and that is it. And so what I want to summarize is simply that you can write JavaScript in the front end, like we did when we started out with index.html. Okay, we have our JavaScript that will be run by the client, the browser. And of course, um, we can write JavaScript in the backend 
using Node, which we'll be doing quite a bit of. And so we will simply use the Node, which is again JavaScript, but it allows us to write a JavaScript code that is run on a server, as opposed to JavaScript code that is run solely on the browser. Okay, so JavaScript is versatile because you can write JavaScript to be run on the client, and you can write JavaScript to be run on the server. Okay, likewise, uh, we looked at how we can write JavaScript within our browser here uh, using the console, which allows us to test or experiment with JavaScript. And finally, we looked at writing scripts using JavaScript. Okay. So again, these are all ways of writing JavaScript and we will be using these methods as we progress throughout the course. So the next thing we want to look at is to actually jump into JavaScript so that we can understand the fundamentals of JavaScript so that when we start using it in the back end and again also in the front end, uh, it will make sense to you. I'll see you in the next video about JavaScript.